check that out. We were able to fit in four cars and we may be able to squeeze in the kit car in that corner over there. Welcome back to the channel. So today's another video on the 370Z, but it's not in here right now. We're working on the wide body today, guys. This is a ton of little parts that we're gonna have to basically fix because some of it is not in the best shape. Let's move on to this fender I actually got on the rack right here. As you can see, some of these, uh, I don't know what you would call them. What would you call them little things? I that think you call them rib nuts. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I've always known them yeah, by. But. Yeah, when we were unscrewing them, actually some rib nuts got pulled out. We have to fix that up with some fiberglass. And other than that, there's a little thing right here as well that's cracked. I was thinking about just shaving it off and leaving it just plain open, but it might flap and it's probably a purpose why it's there. But other than that, there's, fine a, scratches and and there's a little imperfections as you can see in the fiberglass as well. A little holes and stuff so we're gonna have to completely sand this fender down uh, I'm thinking about repriming everything so we might just quickly sand it down with the 180 it's gonna move a lot quicker and then just primer all the parts sand them down smooth again so we'll have that pristine finish whenever we paint them but as you can tell they're not in their best shape but we're gonna try to make them as best as possible as well as this area right here definitely gonna paint that red so whenever you open the hood everything looks almost OEM so that's for that fender. As for the side skirts right here, they're not in their best shape as well. As you can see, some of this stuff cracked right here. And this car looks to be repainted twice with the wide body. So the wide body was probably put on by a person, painted one time. As you can see, this is the original color of the car. They actually used some decent paint. And then there is a slight little tape line right along this edge and it goes right here. And then it changes into this dark maroon red looking color, which is not that appealing to the eye in person. So we're definitely gonna go with the OEM paint, maybe like we talked about, a little bit of like some of that glitter, sparkle stuff. Not glitter, uh, metallic. <laughs> metallic, yeah. yeah. I was just trying to get that metallic yeah, in my yeah. head, but. Other than that, all these wide body pieces right here, the, ma the main ones that go over the fenders are actually not that bad of a shape. These may be, these may be able to just sand down, reprime, and they're good to go. No fiberglass repair on them. And uh, just like this big fender as well, it's all good. Another thing I noticed on the fiberglass work right here, this is probably gonna be the most fiberglass work that we're gonna have to have. Dang, that's a big chunk just peeled right off of there. Or but you know that off. kitty hair will take care yeah, of it. Yeah, we got that good kitty hair right there. It definitely should take care of everything. So we got a lot of work on our hands, so let's start sanding and try to get these things looking good. So we just finished sanding this fender. I did apply some fiberglass right here, but I'm gonna let that dry. And in the meantime, while it's drying, we're gonna move on to the other fender here. It's gonna need a little bit more fiberglass repair. As you can see, there's like a big chunk that's been taken out. I don't know what happened there. Maybe a rock kicked up when he was driving and it hit that and just cracked it completely. But other than that, that's low life right there. Yeah, that is definitely low life right there. But other than that, we're just gonna sand the whole fender with a 180. This one's almost ready for primer. And then once we sand this fender, fix that, then the rest of this stuff should be easy. Like I said, these fenders were gonna take the most time. So we're gonna knock this out real quick and then move on.
right, so we just completed both of these fenders. We did all the repairs that were necessary. As you can see here, man, that turned out absolutely amazing. We fixed that little crack in the uh, fiberglass fenders here, but it is all sanded down. It is almost ready for primer. All it needs to be done is wax and grease removed. That's gonna be in a later stage though. For now, we're gonna go ahead and start sanding this other, the other panels of the wide body with a 320. Yep, 320 grit should cover this because there's no, yeah. there's no damages really. Just a little bit of paint chipping, but 320 should cover it and the primer is gonna stick a lot better. So let's start sanding, dude. We got tons more to go. This stuff is taking its time and we got tons of sandpaper. As you can see, we've been using pieces that are everywhere, but we're getting this stuff sanded out as best as possible. We're sanding all this stuff out really smoothly and hopefully we can spray primer on all these parts by tonight. and final pieces that we gotta sand and then we're gonna start primering. These are our longest pieces right here and uh, they shouldn't take too long. There is a few things that we gotta repair. As you can see, the fiberglass crack here and here. Super simple to fix that. Other than that, we do have to take off some kind of, I don't know what that undercoating or some kind of, yeah, almost plastic looks like. Dip. It's oh, like a plastic dip. Yeah, it's like a plastic dip, just peels off. We're gonna have to peel all that off, sand it with a 320, and then guys, we're gonna start primering. So let's go ahead and try to knock these things out as quick as possible. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna set that aside for now. Let that fiberglass dry and we're actually gonna focus on these front fenders. Yep, and we're gonna go ahead and paint these first because we only have one stand and that can primer dries pretty quick, especially with our heater right here. So we're gonna do about three coats on every part. And once we throw three coats on this, throw our, uh, what is that black stuff called? The, the, the guide coat. Guide coat and yeah. Then we're gonna throw our guide coat then we're gonna move on to our other fender. So yes, we're just sir. gonna go in pairs and hopefully get all this stuff primed in. our goal that we were wanting to and we primed all the wide body pieces it took a lot of work but we worked late into the night got everything done so we're gonna have to just catch you guys tomorrow in the morning all right guys so it's actually the next day and we had to pull the car out and we went ahead and threw one of these wide body pieces on just screwed it on for now because we have lift installers in finally we're getting our bin pack lift installed so let's set up a time lapse for you guys and show you guys exactly how they install it
Guys, check that out. We finally got our bin pack lift installed. We've been waiting on this moment for a very long time. It's just been chilling on the side there. Now we can pick up vehicles and work on anything underneath. It's just gonna be so much easier now. So huge shout out to bin pack, man. I gotta say, they're probably one of the highest quality lifts in the game right now. So check them out if you wanna get you a lift. So actually it is not wired up yet because it does require a 220. They did test it with a 120, everything works great. So we're actually gonna run to the store right now, pick up some supplies and hopefully get this sucker wired up and we can lift up a vehicle. You know what this means since we're backing up a car into the garage we finally got it wired up we just ran a simple 220 as you can see but everything works so first time man first vehicle that's getting lifted is the z you may have to come over a little bit oh it's low life man look at this you may have to air up air up our air suspension is not connected Oh man, I forgot about I that. I have to just remove, just this remove wide the wide body. body and get the sucker lifted up. Just just see how this thing operates, man. All right. We could never actually do like a proper video underneath the vehicle. Now we can. Now we can. So we're gonna get this set up, lift it up, and show you guys exactly what the Z looks like underneath, I guess. Give give you guys the best view possible. Did it stop? Yeah. Perfect. Nice. Good. Finally, Man, we can be Is it able. safe under here? It's safe. It's safe. It's Look at that. Oh, that's, that's so legit. sick. We, we would have been changing it like the this. The suspension would have been a lot easier, dude. That is legit, though. But look at that, dude. This is so awesome, oh, man. change exhaust so much easier now, dude. Exhaust videos. Look at this. Look at this sick shot, man. Just Look at this old exhaust oh, that's see. still on here. So it does have axle back, like we said. What do you guys yeah. think? Should we do a, a full exhaust? Maybe, I, maybe from the cat's back. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe do a little cat back full exhaust, or maybe just delete the cats and do uh, headers down. Yeah, because they got How hard the, is headers? Are these the cats right here? Yeah, that's cats. All right, because look, they just unscrew right there. Ooh. We can do headers down. Headers down would be awesome. You talking about actual headers all the way up there or? Right here, just right here. Or we can put headers on it. We don't, who knows, we got a lift now. We can just pull a motor or something, what? you know what I mean? I'm so glad we got that lift because now a life. quality lift. Now life is a lot easier. All right guys, so we just tested out the lift. Works absolutely amazing. Now we lowered it a little bit and we're actually gonna throw on both of the front fenders so they're not so flimsy when we're gonna be wet sanding. So let's go ahead and slap them suckers on. So we just threw it on the front fenders and the front wide body just so they wouldn't lay around and uh, get dinged up and whatnot. But we're not gonna wet sand yet. We're actually gonna move on to the rear. We're gonna throw on this Nismo style bumper, guys, because there is a little bit of repair work, but man, this thing is gonna look sick. Oh yeah, I love the look of this thing. So happy and so glad that we are gonna be able to run the Nismo bumper because this stuff just looks way better than yeah. the original bumper so uh let's throw this sucker on real quick and then uh, i think we're gonna lower the car and then throw them wide body pieces on as yeah well. because they won't fit right now uh because this car is just so low right there it, like yeah. it hits this little piece right here but yeah let's throw on that rear bumper and we'll go from there man that looks so sick but i do not like the one missing exhaust here might so. have to go with the dual yep which you said. All right, so we just threw on this rear bumper and there is gonna be repairs as we mentioned in a couple videos back, I believe. This bumper has been sitting in the weather, in the cold weather, in the shed out there, so it kinda got some cracks in the primer, which is gonna be a pretty easy fix, but we're actually not gonna start sanding on this car just yet because we're gonna probably wrap this video up because we're working on some big things, some special things we can't share. It's just top secret stuff you're gonna see here very soon. 
But for now, we're actually gonna drop this car down, take it outside, and we're gonna pack as much cars as we can in here with our new bin pack lift and just see how much stuff will actually fit in here. We're gonna pack them in here like sardines or Tetris, whatever you wanna call it, but. Yep, we're gonna play Tetris with, yes, the, with the Goon Squad cars and see how much we can fit inside our garage. We're thinking about four. Four, yeah, I'm thinking uh, Viper gets lifted up all the way. Um, the Batmobile gets parked right here. And um, maybe the Z01 like that or the GTR like this and then two more. I don't know. Let's just let's just go ahead and drop this down and start pulling cars in here and see what we can come up with. Let's do it. I'm thinking we may have to shave this down right here because the actual cap comes into contact there so if we shave it just like a couple millimeters it'll be perfect so easily previous owner should have thought of that before he damaged his own wide body kit filling up fuel you know what i mean yeah that's right so just a little food for thought a little wide body for thought yeah a little bit <laughs> of wide body for thought but for tatiana for tatiana tatiana Man, this thing actually sounds good, dude. When you crank it up, I, I'm, I'm liking the sound. That single exhaust sounds pretty dang good. I'm gonna, I do love the look of the dual exhaust. Dual exhaust has the looks, but this has the sound. So I don't know, that's a hard decision. You guys gotta let us know what we should do, but let her rip and let's pull her out. Dang, Billy, he's doing full sins. Careful now, that wide body ain't fully secured. Let me help you out real quick. Yeah, you gotta hold that door. Is there a rubber piece? No. Oh, man. It's on the lift section. I'll see if that front garage door or that garage door will close. Do it, man. Shut her down. Might just uh, pinch that lift. Uh oh. We're good, man. I should pull up a little bit. That way the door will open a little bit better. But look at that, man. It's dude, awesome. that is perfect, dude. We got three in here so far. I think we can probably just get one more. And that's it, because we do have these posts here and it's a mess right there. Yeah, I guess one more will fit. One more will be just right. That's good. Alrighty guys, check that out. We were able to fit in four cars and we may be able to squeeze in the kit car in that corner over there, but we may have to clean some stuff up. But that's gonna be pretty much a wrap for today's video. Huge shout out to Ben Pack, man. That's gonna come in handy, I can't wait to put it to some more use. So with that being said, guys, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad, where you'll get an inside scoop there before YouTube. Also, guys, if you haven't, be sure to copy some merch. We're gonna restock on some Thomas merch. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, so be on the lookout at GoonSquad.com. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.